another pair of your shoes. All shine. <laughs> That's fine, son. Well, I'm all finished. You promised me ten cents for every pair of shoes I shined. And I've shined six pair. Well, then I guess I owe you 60 cents. There you are, son. Oh, boy, thanks, Dad. Oh, Dennis. How come six? I've only got four pair. I know. Two pairs were my own. <laughs> <laughs> expecting a letter from Mother. Oh, I didn't think your mother could write. John Wilson. Uh, well, she did sprain her wrist, didn't she? Oh, that was two months ago. Now, stop being funny. What's this? Oh, my manuscript back from the publisher. Probably wants me to make a few minor changes. See what he has to say. Dear John, attached, I'm returning your manuscript titled Gypsy Life Today. Hope you won't mind some rather pertinent suggestions. Well, he's paying for it, so I guess he's entitled to a few suggestions. <laughs> I've been stabbed! What was the name of this manuscript? How to make confetti? That pompous, addle-pated... What else does he say? Could it be, John, that you have forgotten the first ABC of writing? Quote... Write what you know about. <laughs> Your story is entirely too speculative, too generalized. I want something from someone who has been intimately associated with gypsies or has taken the trouble to become so. Someone who will get to know them, get under their skins. This I would buy. This he would buy. Who does he think he is? <laughs> He's right, John. When you did that article, you didn't go near those gypsies camped on the edge of town. Dear, you can't find out about them peeping through a telescope five miles away. You know I tried to see them. They wouldn't talk to me. They're clannish and, and suspicious of strangers. Uh, Eloise, what can I do? Why don't you see a gypsy fortune teller and find out? <laughs> <laughs> well, I better clean up this mess and get to my shopping. There isn't a thing in the house for lunch. Get to know them. Get under their skin. in that ridiculous get-up. Don't you know a gypsy when you see one? Ah, uh, madame, let Julio read your palm. Huh? I see a tall, dark, handsome man. He's your husband. He is mingling with the gypsies. Are you sure you don't see him mingling with two men in white coats come to get him? Now, don't you worry, dear. This is going to be my most brilliant piece of research. While you were downtown, I raided the Salvation Army and Buck Smiley's gadget shop. <laughs> John, don't you think you're going a bit far? Far? After that insulting letter from my publisher? He thinks I can't do an accurate piece of writing, eh? Well, when I get through with this, I'll show him a thing or two. <laughs> Oh, this drive-it-yourself donkey I rented is stubborn as a mule. 
Come on, come on, get here. Come on, boy. That's a good little donkey. Yes, come on. That's a good boy. Yes, that's a fine boy. <laughs> well, Eloise, you certainly have a way with donkeys. I should after 20 years. <laughs> well, I'll get on him and then you give him a show. You certainly aren't going to ride him, are you? Well, he's certainly not going to ride me. John, are you sure? Now, Eloise, don't worry. I checked the encyclopedia. Gypsies travel with horses, mules, or donkeys. I hope you're right. It's a 1922 encyclopedia you were looking at. Well, I'll get started before anybody... Uh-oh, here comes Dennis. I'll go out through the alley. Be careful, dear. Bye, dear. Tally ho, yo! <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Wilson. Hello, Dennis. Is Mr. Wilson? Hey, what's that funny-looking thing on your face? For oh, good heavens, he'll need this. Dennis, run and catch Mr. Wilson and give him that. He's headed for that gypsy camp over by Pine Grove. I'll get my bike and catch him. Oh, I know a shortcut. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Wilson. You don't speak it English. No speak it English. Get out of my way, little boy. Mrs. Wilson said you needed this. What? Oh. Oh. Jeepers, Mr. Wilson. You sure look different. I never would have recognized you. Oh, my aching. Take me that. Oh. Now, you go on back home. I have important work to do. You going to a masquerade party or something, Mr. Wilson? No, I am not going to a masquerade. Dennis, I am interviewing some gypsies for a magazine article. And in order to do that, I have to pretend to be one of them. Now, kindly beat it. <laughs> I got him. Under the bush, Pietro. We have good supper tonight. Yeah. Is that gypsies? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> nice fat boy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What does it sound like? Huh? Come on, we see. Quiet, stupid. They're coming. We, we're trapped. Keepers, what are we going to do, Mr. Wilson? Get your bike. Hide it. Quick, quick. Come with you. Oh, oh, uh, that uh, my son Deniso. <laughs> Deniso, uh, uh, come out, come out. We're among friends, aren't we? <laughs> oh, son, big fan of television shows. <laughs> Why is it that gypsy like you have son with blue eyes? Hey, they are blue eyes. Well, uh, of course they're blue. His, uh, his mother was a blonde. That's right, Mr. Gypsy. A real blonde. Except for one time when she was a redhead. Uh, yeah, yes. Um, uh, she was not one of our people. But let's not talk about her anymore. She's a sad memory. She was a bad one, huh? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Very bad. My poor brother Pietro, he had the same thing. No good woman. Now he'd be very bitter man. He not trust anybody no more. I do not like strangers. Oh, Pietro. <laughs> Julio and his son will not be strangers. 
I am Papa Gamale. You come to our camp and we give you food. We'd be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this stuff tastes great. What is it, Papa Julio? Yes, what is it, Papa Gamale? What is it? You a gypsy ask, what is it? Uh, well, I've been away from my people so long. This is Franfrani. Of course, Franfrani. <laughs> What's Franfrani, Papa Julio? Eat, eat. Gypsy children should be seen and not heard. <laughs> Nobody cooks Franfrani like my daughter, Lutan. Oh, delicious. Congratulations. <laughs> My daughter Lutana will make some lucky fellow a wonderful wife. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Lutana, foolish woman, why you make eyes at stranger? <laughs> don't mind Pietro. He still don't think you true gypsy. Well, if I wasn't a true gypsy, what would I be doing here? If you were not true gypsy. Oh, gosh. Is it okay if I'm only half a gypsy? That isn't your fault, Denise. Uh, is it, Papa? The boy is okay. He can't help it what his mama was. You are both welcome. Now we finish eating. The Franfrani gets cold. Oh, yes, we can't have the Franfrani get cold. <laughs> Especially after your charming daughter went to so much trouble. <laughs> oh, uh, would you share this with me? chosen to divide bread with my little Lutana. As you know, according to gypsy custom, she shall be your bride. Oh. <laughs> I give you my blessing. Oh. oh, well, this is all very flattering, but I suddenly remembered I have an appointment. Come along, Mr. <laughs> yeah, we got things to do. Yes. Oh, you make very funny joke. <laughs> oh, everybody, we drink to my new son, Julio. <laughs> the wedding will be tonight. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Cheapers! He's fainted! He's fainted from a joy. Oh, Pietro, come, we put him in the trailer. <laughs> oh. You feel all right now, Mr. Wilson? I feel awful. I've got to think of a way to get out of this. Jeepers, I'm not sure yet how we got into it. <laughs> I'll have to tell Papa Gamali who I am, that I cannot marry his daughter because I already have a wife. Well, I don't know, Mr. Wilson. You know what they'll do to you if they find out you're not one of them? What? <laughs> <laughs> the coast seems clear. They're so busy planning the wedding that maybe they won't notice. Now you slip out and head for the woods. But what will you do, Mr. Wilson? I'll be right behind you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I don't make it, find your bike and pedal home for help as fast as you can. Okay, Mr. Wilson. Right. I uh, thought I'd go into the village and get some things for the wedding. Good idea. We all go. <laughs> Still no sign of John. Dennis, what exactly did Mr. Wilson say when you left him? He said he'd be leaving right behind me. I kept looking for him, but I never saw him. Well, you know, a donkey is pretty slow. Well, I'm not waiting any longer. I'm going to that gypsy camp and get my husband. Uh, I'll go with you. Me too. I have to show you where the camp is. We'll all go. Oh. Uh, I don't think it's going to rain, Ms. Wilson. Rain isn't the only thing you can use an umbrella for. <laughs> Boy, I'd hate to be those gypsies. I wasn't thinking of the gypsies, Dennis. <laughs> See me, Chief? Yeah, Molly, those gypsies are back in town. 
they are. Just leave them to me. No, 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 no. Hold on, Mooney. The last time they were in town, I told them they could sell in the streets, but if they wanted to tell fortunes, they'd have to have a license. Well, they didn't get one, did they? No, but even so, I, I, I want you to lay off. Just look the other way. Look the other way? Yeah, the last time they were in jail, they didn't want to leave. It almost broke the city feeding them. Oh, gee. Uh, uh, you've got your orders, Moody. Lay off those gypsies. Yes, sir. <laughs> Are you sure this is the place, son? Sure, I'm sure. The trailer was parked right over there. And here's where they had their campfires. Oh, do you think they've kidnapped me? <laughs> oh, I hope not. There's no telling which way they went. The tire tracks lead in all directions. Well, that settles it. This is a matter for the police. Come on, let's go. You girls get the food for the wedding. And you boys get the stuff for the torches now. On your way. Well, well. <laughs> no, Julio. You stay here. <laughs> now we go to work. <laughs> get your love potions here, folks. Find true romance. Take a powder. Take a powder. I think I will. <laughs> You're going somewhere, Gypsy? Who, me? Oh, Julio. What I tell you? You stay close to me, my son. Yes, Papa. Fortune's told. Fortune's told. Hey, man, you want Lutana to read your part? No. She's scared. Lutana. You can't tell Fortune without license. You want policemen to take you away? Will they do that? Police very strict in this town. Can't tell Fortune without license. Fortune's told. Get your fortune told without license. <laughs> How about your fortune? <laughs> hey, policeman! <laughs> now you're too fool. <laughs> How about it? You want your fortune told without oh, license? I have a right to Oh, well, if you must, you must. <laughs> you do that, okay? No, Go on, get lost. What? Look, I am not really a gypsy, you see. Are you kidding? I said get lost. <laughs> I dare you to arrest me, Blackfoot. Now, just a minute. Look, Papa Gamali, did you ever see such a stupid Blackfoot? <laughs> I didn't have my orders. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> me! Ah, me! Lutana, you see that? Julio is like a lion. He fears no one. Lutana going to have very brave husband. <laughs> <laughs> Calm yourself, Mrs. Wilson. We'll look into it. Mooney, come in here. Want to see me, Chief? Where are those gypsies? Well, they left town. It'll soon be dark. I guess they went back to their camp. I want them brought in. But, Chief, you said I shouldn't... Uh... Never mind what I said. Go get them. They've got Mr. Wilson with them. Mr. Wilson? What would he be doing with gypsies? Marrying one of them if we don't get to him in time. <laughs> <laughs> now I heard everything. It's true. Sergeant Mooney, when you saw the gypsies, was there one named Julio? Yeah. Real tough guy. He kicked me. He kicked you. Right in the middle of Main Street. <laughs> that was Mr. Wilson. Well, why would Mr. Wilson do a thing like that? Maybe he was trying to get you to arrest him. Yeah, maybe he was trying to tell you something. Well, a couple of more messages like that and I'll be turning in my badge. <laughs> go get him. Yes, Chief. Well, wait a minute, we'll go with you. Why are you so sad, my son? Soon you will be a bridegroom. You should be happy. Oh, I am. I am. <laughs> I know what troubles you. You worry because your son has disappeared? Yeah. Now I go and look for him. Do not worry. He will return. Besides, there is no time. In 20 minutes, you will be a bridegroom. Think how happy your son will be to come back and find his father married. <laughs>
Look. <laughs> My lovely daughter, Lutan. She is ready for the wedding dance. Up, Julio, my brave lion-hearted son. Dance with your bride. I don't want to dance. From now on, Papa, leave him to me. of a lion and the grace of a hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> High overhead. It is time for the wedding, my son. Yeah, oh, well, I can't get married now. I'm just uh, getting my second wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is time for you to get dressed for the ceremony, my son. You will wear my wedding suit, no? I have saved it for this proud occasion. Uh, yeah, but I'm. I'm I, uh, well, fellas, hey, uh, take it easy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Pietro, this is the happiest moment of my life. My daughter, at last, I'm losing her. I know how you feel, but in another sense, you're not losing a daughter. You're gaining a donkey. Yes. Is that the way to talk about my future son-in-law? <laughs> charge here. What do you want? We have done nothing. Where's my husband? Mr. Wilson? Dennis! We've come to rescue you. My boy, that's wonderful. Uh, so what you are trying to say is that this man who calls himself Julio is your husband? Now you're finally catching on. Oh, oh, oh No, 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 no. Don't cry, my little one. Eloise! 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 You deceiver! Leave my camp before I cut your throat! Come on, Pippa, now. I think we'd better get out of here. Yes, before I commit bigamy. <laughs> John, is that the sports car you rode out here? Oh, good. <laughs> you better get it out of here, or by county code 602, I'll have to give you a ticket for stray animals. Uh, Eloise, I guess I'd better ride it home, or I'll be stuck with the fine and the cost of the animals. I'll ride with you, Mr. Wilson, and keep you company. <laughs> you do that, son. Mr. Wilson's had a rough day. Not rough, Henry. A nightmare. <laughs> I'll see you home, Eloise. Come on. Hey, that's a nice sprint you got here. Mm. Gypsy bread, huh? Here, have some, girly. Papa! Papa! <laughs> my son! Oh, my son! Henry! Henry, wait for me! <laughs> Thank goodness that's over. Boy, Mr. Wilson, you must feel good. Now you don't have to live with two wives. Yeah. Thanks to you, Dennis. If you hadn't gotten away and brought help when you did, I'd be in a bad way. Boy, I'll say you would. Oh, what a story I could write about gypsies now. <laughs> but who'd believe it? I would. You? <laughs> <laughs>
has been a Screen Gems film production.